the respiratory system is a complex biological system responsible for the exchange of gases between the body and the external environment. Then, the primary function is to facilitate the intake of oxygen from the air and the removal of carbon dioxide from the body. The main components of the respiratory system include White 1. Nose and Mouth Air enters the respiratory system through the nose or mouth. The nose filters warm and moistens the air before it reaches the lungs. After passing through the nose or mouth, air travels down the pharynx which serves as common pathway for both air and food. Larynx The larynx, commonly known as the voice box, contains vocal cords and plays crucial role in speech and preventing food or liquid from entering the airway. Trachea The trachea or windpipe is a tube reinforced with cartilage rings that connects the larynx to the bronchi. It allows air to pass between the upper respiratory system and the lungs. The trachea branches into two bronchi, one leading to each lung. This bronchi continues to divide into smaller bronchioles, forming a branching network throughout the lungs. Lungs The lungs are the central organ of the respiratory system. They are spongy elastic structures protected by the ribcage. The right lung has three lobes while the left lung has two lobes. Alveoli At the end of the bronchioles are tiny air filled sacs called alveoli. These are the primary site of gas exchanging. Oxygen from the air diffuses into the blood through the walls of the alveoli and carbon dioxide from the blood is expelled into the alveoli to be exhaled. How the respiratory system works? Number 1. Breathing, pulmonary ventilation. The process of breathing involves two phases. During inhalation, the diaphragm contracts and moves downwards, while the intracostal muscle between the ribs also contracts, lifting the rib cage. This expansion increases the volume of the chest cavity, causing air to be drawn into the lungs. During exhalation, the diaphragm and intracostal muscles relax. Reducing the chest cavity volume and air is expelled from the lungs. Gas exchange, external respiration. Oxygen in the inhaled air passes through the alveoli walls into the capillaries surrounding the alveoli and bind to hemoglobin in red blood cells. Simultaneously, carbon dioxide diffuse from the blood into the alveoli to be exhaled. Transport of gases. Oxygen rich blood is carried from the lungs to the heart, which pumps to the rest of body tissue through the systemic circulation. In the tissue, oxygen is released from the hemoglobin to nourish the cells, and carbon dioxide is picked up. Carbon dioxide is then transported back to the lungs through the bloodstream. Gas exchange in the tissues, internal respiration. Carbon dioxide generated products during cellular respiration enters to the bloodstream to be transported back to the lungs for elimination. 
Overall, the respiratory system ensures that the body receives an adequate supply of oxygen for cellular functions and expels the waste product carbon dioxide to maintain proper acid base balance in the body. This intricate process of gas exchange is essential for sustaining life and overall well being. Thank you and stay tuned.